What's going on, Rovers? It's Mr. Shalott back with another lesson for IED. All right, so today's lesson, we are going to be discussing the engineering notebook and the importance of the engineering notebook in this class. Um, on a scale of one to 10, the importance of the notebook in this class, it's probably about 150. It is super important. The stuff I go over today, super important that you understand how it works. Now, with this being a non-traditional school year, um, I'm used to handing out physical notebooks, okay, that you would carry around with you, and, and that's, that just can't happen this year, unfortunately. The way, the way things are, and for me to be able to see your notebook and so on and so forth, it's much easier if we do a digital style of this notebook. So I'm going to be making some modifications to what I talk about today, and I'll mention those as I go along. This PowerPoint is available. You can view this. Um, through classroom, but I'm going to go through step by step and explain why the engineering notebook is so important. Now, the engineering notebook is something you'll be doing in all six classes that we have here in Project Lead the Way. Okay, this is this is the intro class, so I'm laying the groundwork. This is something that you'll be doing from now till the end. Okay, from now till the final class. So it's important you understand this concept. This is something that you'll be using. Um, and once you understand the concept and how the notebook is supposed to be laid out, it will become much easier to you. So just like a baby, we are gonna crawl and then eventually we will walk and then eventually we will run, okay? So it's gonna take us a little bit, but um, we'll get through it. And to me, the, the notebook and understanding how to lay out the notebook and the, the order that it should be in super, super important because you're gonna be doing it through all four years of high school here if you stick with the program. And then if you go on the you know, college as well, you'll be using these types of notebooks as well. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna share out my screen and we'll start the discussion. Okay. Okay, so the engineering notebook, lesson number one, super important, that's why we do it first, okay? All right, so in this slideshow, we're going to talk about what is an engineering notebook and why do we keep a notebook? Who keeps the notebook? What goes inside the notebook? How is it broken down into different sections? How do you lay out a page? What are the best practices when you're laying out the page? and take a look at some historical examples of engineering notebooks and how they've been used in the past, okay? So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. All right, so the definition of an engineering notebook, all right? An engineering notebook is a book in which an engineer will formally document in chronological order all of his or her work that is associated with a specific design project. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, anything and everything that you do in this course is going to go in the notebook, okay? Any idea that you have, any thought, any calculation, anything you do whatsoever from now until the end of the year, you will be putting it in your engineering notebook it becomes super important to document everything along the process. Because as I've mentioned before, you're not gonna do everything correct the first time and that's okay, all right? There's a lot of trial and error in everything that we do in life. This book documents that process, okay? You don't do everything right the first time. You have to learn from your mistakes, adjust, modify, redesign, so on and so forth, okay? This book is going to document all of it. And as the bullet points say, it says clear and detailed description of the design process. We're going to spend a whole lot of time talking about the design process. All right. And the order that you do things when you're designing something. All right. It says someone unfamiliar with your work could take over a project without additional information. The way it was described to me is that someone could pick up your notebook. Okay and continue right where you left off if you got hit by a bus walking across the street. They could say, oh, everything's so well documented in this paperwork that I knew exactly what he was thinking 
or she was thinking because everything has been documented, okay? Every thought, every idea, every sketch, every calculation, everything you do for each project is going to be documented within the notebook, okay? Super, super important, okay? It's, it's, it documents every step of the journey, okay? All right, let's go to the next screen here. Apparently I can't hit my arrows. There we go. Okay, it says an engineering notebook is recognized as a legal document that is used in patent activities. Okay, so when you talk about patents, all right, if you come up with a design and you, and you get a, a, a patent for it, no one can steal your idea because you have a legal patent for it. If you need to defend, defend that in court, you have this legal document that proves everything. Now for us, we're gonna be doing it on the iPad slightly different just because of the world we're living in right now, all right? But everything ha would have to be documented on a piece of paper and you're gonna see those documentations as we go through the process, all right? And it'll prove the origin of the idea. It proves where the events were, when did they take place, okay? The ideas of the whole learning process, turning it into a final solution. Proven idea became a working solution, all right? So like, how did you get from point A to point B? Everything's documented, dated, signed, okay? All your calculations, all your ideas, everything is listed within the notebook. Who uses an engineering notebook? Okay. Uh, engineers that work in research and development, okay? If you're, if you're working for, you know, a Fortune 500 company coming up with new ideas, you're documenting all those ideas, okay? And eventually those, those works turn into legal documents as part of your patent process. So some other company can't come in and steal your ideas, all right? It gives continuity in projects. So your company has a way of doing things, okay? So every project that your company does follows the same process, that it'll follow the same process. Hang up my phone here. Okay, who else? Engineering students, okay? You guys here in high school, uh, if you follow this in the college, you'll be using an engineering notebook, all right? It helps you develop your time management skills, okay? So you can document the whole thing over a given timeline. Not everything happens in a day. I don't give an assignment every time that's due that day. It might be, a week and a half, two weeks that we work on one particular project and I wanna know what you did each particular day to get to that end goal. You didn't just get to that end goal in one day when we worked on it for two weeks and all of that would be documented, okay? All right, and obviously it's going to improve your documentation skills and as the year goes on, you're gonna get really, really good at this, all right? At the beginning, you'll, you'll ask a lot of questions and that's fine, all right? But eventually you'll, you'll understand the process. And once you understand the process, you'll see that you get better, just like your sketching, which we'll talk about shortly, all right? You're gonna start sketching. You might not be the best sketch artist, but by the end of the course, you'll look at your sketch and say, wow, I really came a long way. So keep that in mind, okay? Keep that in mind. Next, what goes in there? Um, at the bottom in red, it says, everything you do related to a specific design project. What I will tell you, okay, is that if it's not in the notebook, it didn't happen, okay? What do I mean by that? If it's not in the notebook, it didn't happen. Well, you can't come to me and say, hey, Mr. Schlott, remember when I told you that this X, Y, or Z? No, I don't remember. Show me in your notebook where it's documented, okay? Everything has to be documented in the engineering notebook along the way. You can't skip steps. And some of the things that go in there, okay, just figuring out what the problem is, the research that went into it, all of your sketches, any brainstorming, all of your, all your math and calculations, the thoughts and ideas that you have. There's no such thing as a dumb idea. You gotta get it down on paper, okay? Because who knows, you might reference that idea a week from now and say, you know what? This idea didn't work. Let's go back to our original ideas. And that's why you have to document everything. We're gonna be in certain pictures, okay? Both pictures you take in real life, pictures that you um, find off of Google, okay? Pictures, you're gonna insert those 
Not every di never not every idea is a new one. Okay. If you're gonna if you're gonna work for Goodyear and make new tires, guess what? They're all gonna be round. Okay. They're always gonna be a circle. So not every tire started from scratch. All right. That's that's the design. They make modifications and change the tread pattern, change the thickness, you know, adjust the sidewalls, all that when they're making new tires, but the tire's always round, all right? So pictures, ideas of your thought process, all of your uh, procedures and results, conclusions that you come, all of your technical drawings that eventually you're going to create, okay? Modifications that you do along the way, everything and anything. So at the bottom where it says everything, everything. If you have a question, if it goes in the notebook, the answer is always yes. Okay. Always yes. Okay. So it's broken down into sections. The first is a title page. The title page is just the front of the notebook. Okay. Um, hold it in front of me here. There we go. All right. Um, the inside, the front cover, you're going to have your table of contents. You'll have a couple pages of table of contents. So we'll, we'll have those filled in and then all of your entries. There's a slide for each one of these. So I'm kind of skipping over this, but I'll be talking about it in more detail as I get to the future slides. Get this out of the way. Okay, so quad ruled pages, all right? So I have given you a pack of paper that has quarter inch grid on it, okay? For four of those boxes, it equals one inch, okay? Four of those equals one inch. So as you look at the image here, <clears throat> if you count those across for every four boxes, that's one inch. So when we start drawing stuff to scale and things like that, you have to keep those numbers in mind, all right? Each page is going to be numbered. Top right-hand corner of the screen, you'll see this black number nine, okay? You have to have your pages numbered. They're all going to be dated, okay? Down by the signature line here, there is a spot for a date. It's going to have a signature by you and a signature by a witness. Your witness can be anybody, okay? Mom, dad, aunt, brother, sister, doesn't matter who, okay? So uh, you need a, someone to sign off to say they saw it as well. And then it says include a statement of proprietary nature of the notebook. Um, ours here just says Easton High School. Okay, so we have a stamp. So down here at the bottom, this particular stamp is modified and says Easton Area High School on it. Um, so the proprietary nature is just Project Lead the Way here at Easton. Okay, okay, next. All work is done in pen, all right? So when you are writing in the engineering notebook or those sheets that I gave you, when you're writing, everything is done in pen. I'll slide this down so we could see a little better here, okay? When you write in pen, it has to be blue or black pen, and they need to be pens that don't bleed. So don't use something like a Sharpie that would go through the paper, okay? Blue or black pen. Pages are sequentially numbered. Obviously we start at one and we go all the way through, normally ending around 200 pages for the course, okay? The 190 to the 200 range is where we normally end. Um, notebooks are bound, okay? Normally the, the books that I give you have a binding. Ours are gonna be digital this time, so just a slight modification there. You can't add pages later. Um, you can't remove any of the pages. The notebooks are as I hold this up to the side here, they're all stitched and bound together. You can't add pages and you can't take them out. You got to leave them as is, okay? So as you make mistakes, there's a process and a way to uh, close off or, or uh, cross out information that you might have messed up, okay? Let's go to the next slide. Best practices. Entries begin at the top of the page. I'm going to get this camera thing. Put this up towards the top, there we go. Okay, entries begin at the top of the page, working from left to right, just like you would write on a piece of lined paper, okay? So you can notice here, I'll move my mouse, all right? They start at the top and they're going from left to right all the way down. It says, do not leave blank space. If there's extra space, draw an X or a line across and sign it, okay? What does that mean? Well, as you look here, 
this person was working, working, working. They got down to here and then they had no more information to put here in their notebook. So what they did was they drew a line and signed on the line. We won't draw an X. We're always going to draw um, one line and, and sign on that line. So here you can see that they signed the line to cancel off that part. Now, the reason they do that is so someone can't grab your notebook and then start drawing on it and adding more information. You're crossing it out saying, I'm done with this page, okay? So that's important. When you're done with a page and you have extra space, okay? So how much space should you cross off? Well, if you have more than six boxes here, then you need a line and you need to sign it. If it's, if it's less than six, you don't necessarily need the line because there's not a whole lot of space left, okay? Moving on. There's him signing the line. If you don't know how to sign your name in cursive, reach out to me personally. I'll make sure I take care of that. I know that's something that we kind of, they, they don't either touch on or breeze over in the elementary level about how to sign your name. So if you're not sure how to sign your name, I definitely can work with you and we'll get that signature on point. All right, next. It says, if you make a mistake, draw a line through it, enter the correct information and initial the change never erase anything or remove anything. Well, you can't erase anything because everything you do is in pen, okay? So everything in this notebook will always be in pen. The only thing that won't be in pen is your sketches. Your sketches will be done in pencil, but all of, all of your handwriting, all of your calculations, documentation, all of that happens in either a blue or a black pen. Let's say you make a mistake. As you can see here, they have some stuff circled, they blow that up. So looking at this particular information here, they're saying that this person wrote the word Botox and they did that three times. But then they realized they didn't want Botox, they wanted borax. So what they did was they took their pen and they stroked through the text one time. They didn't scribble it out, just one pass through with the pen. So they passed through, cross that off, cross that off, cross that off, rewrote the word next to it. In this case, it was borax. So they wrote borax at each one, and then they initialed the change. So here, this person is Chris Daniels. He wrote CD, CD, CD right next to it. So if you make a mistake in your book, I'll wait for the bell. If you make a mistake in your book, it is not the end of the world, okay? It is not. So if you make a mistake, cross it out, one strike through, and then initial the change, okay? Moving on. We need to date each entry. All right, so you'll notice here at the top, they started on 513, okay? May 13th. Well, they didn't finish the project on the 13th. Then they picked up their notebook and then continued working on the 15th, all right? So they, they, they started writing some more documentation, but now they dated this the 15th. The only reason it's in red is because they want to show it to you. If you look in the notebook, it's black, okay? So blue or black pen always, no red. But you're not always going to finish everything all on one day. So the dates need to go next to the day you worked on it, okay? And it's not always going to be the same date. Keep that in mind. Inserted items are permanently attached, glue or tape, all right? Um, you're gonna wanna be able to insert things that you find from the internet or things that you print out. Let's say I have you print something out in the classroom or at home, all right? And you need to insert that in the notebook. Here they've used tape, you can also use glue, okay? Either or is fine. In our classroom, we use tape. Um, the glue tends to dry out after a couple months. So we've, we've, we've gotten away from the glue and now we use tape, all right? But you guys are doing a digital notebook. You won't, won't really be mounting anything in your book. Everything will be done digitally, which we'll talk about at a later time, okay? All right, so after you insert something, you'll notice that your signature has to go over it. So 
after you insert something, you have to sign on both the book and the piece of paper. Okay, so it says sign your name so it extends across the notebook and the page that's being inserted into the document. So here, uh, Joe Schmo or what Jane Schmo, whatever it is. Okay, they started writing on the book, then they hit the piece of paper and tape, and then they ended up back on the book. And that's how you'll document on your book as well. Okay, only you'll do it digitally. You won't be doing it um, with an actual notebook. Okay, moving on. Best practices, sign and date each page before the next page is started, okay? So as you work through your notebook, you are signing and dating everything, all right? A colleague or mentor should co corroborate the events and facts on each page and sign as a witness. So what's gonna happen is you guys are gonna share out your notebooks with someone else in the class, you'll have to partner up so they can check off on your notebook and make sure you're not missing anything. Okay, if we were here in class, you guys would just share your notebook. You would hand them your notebook, you would take theirs and you would look for mistakes, okay? You're the, you're the second set of eyes looking through everything. So here you can see it is signed by, one, by um, the owner, okay? And then it's signed by a witness, both people date it, all right? Store the notebook in a safe location, okay? If it's in your book bag and you, your lunch explodes, that means it's gonna get wet. It rains, things like that. You gotta keep it safe. So I always tell people, put your notebook in a uh, large Ziploc in your, in your book bag. You, your notebook is your iPad. You gotta take care of it, okay? Don't lose it. Don't let it get damaged. Take care of it, okay? Put it in a, put it in a safe spot. Oops. How do I go back? Okay, sketches, label all the parts. Describe each sketch, okay? So taking a look, here they have some sketches down of what their product looks like. All of the parts are labeled. They have arrows pointing to everything, explaining what it is. That's all done in pen. You need to describe each sketch, all right? So you're gonna have a description of what we're looking at. Don't just put a sketch, okay? You gotta explain what you're looking at. So three weeks from now, you remember your sketch and what you were working on. Next, calculations and figures are clearly labeled, okay? Clearly labeled. So if you're doing a calculation and there's a formula, okay, what do all of the variables of the formula mean, okay? You have to label everything. You can't just assume, okay? We can't assume in here. Everything's got to be labeled and documented. Progress entries, reflect on tasks accomplished, successes and failures. Reflect on future needs and tasks to be completed, okay? Did everything go right? Great, why? What, what were the benefits of your design? Why did it work? Why did it fail miserably? That doesn't mean you failed the class. Your, your idea failed, why did it fail? What would you do differently? How would you redesign it, okay? Everybody that comes out with a product always puts out a new version of it. Better, okay? To make you spend the money again. Why is it better? Why did you redesign it? What was the reasoning behind it, okay? Tell me the successes, tell me the failures. You're not gonna do everything right the first time. Not in this class. You might've got away with it at the middle school and it's not happening here, okay? Things are gonna go wrong. Why and how would you improve, okay? That's the type of stuff that needs to be documented. Okay, this says, be neat, be accurate, be legible, and be thorough, okay? Neat, if I can't read your handwriting, nobody can, okay? I've read a lot of handwriting in my day. Please, be neat, slow down. If you have crappy handwriting, you're writing too fast, okay? You have to slow down, please make sure it's legible, okay? Um, Make sure every accurate. I disagree with that. I don't know why that's in the slideshow because not everything's going to be accurate. Some things are going to get wrong. It's it's not true. And just be thorough. Okay. Don't don't give one one sentence answers. Explain what's going on in your project. Okay. I, I will be all over you like a hawk to go in more detail. Okay. One or two sentences isn't going to cut it. Okay. You got to be able to explain what's going on throughout the process. 
okay, throughout the process. Uh, they have some pictures here of historical engineering notebooks. These are on display at the Smithsonian, uh, the Smithsonian down in, uh, down in DC, okay? So here we have a paint pot. Um, what do we got here? Fly catcher, okay? Everything's nice and labeled. How to operate it step by step. Tennis racket, okay? Traditional tennis racket, how it was drawn. Everything's documented and labeled. Okay, notice the sketches in pencil, all right? So that's the engineering notebook, all right? Uh, course binder, you're not gonna have one. And those are the references for the slideshow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share out with you, uh, let me stop sharing my screen. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna share out with you a digital notebook. All right, it's gonna have a spot where you need to label your name. Okay, so make sure you get your name on there. Um, also in the top right hand corner of each page, it has a page number. Uh, you're gonna label page one, page two, page three. I would like you to go up to page 100, okay? So as far as homework, easy homework assignment, you just have to go through each page, keep adding pages and label the pages at the top, number them all, okay? So you can um, reference things quicker. Okay, so that becomes important uh, for the slideshow. So if I need to see a particular uh, part of your notebook, you can open up your table of contents. Oh, that's on page 57. And you can go right to page 57 rather than scroll and scroll and scroll, trying to find something. It makes everything a whole lot easier. Okay, so I'm gonna share with you the PowerPoint. All right, you're gonna um, write your name, on, on the actual notebook. You'll see what I mean when you get it, all right? And then go through up, label up to page 100. We eventually will go up to page 200, um, but we're nowhere near that yet. So we'll just do the per first 100 pages for now. Um, please go back and rewatch this, all right? A lot of good information, and I don't wanna think that I went too quick, but there's a lot of stuff that you need to understand, okay? blocking out pages, when to sign, when the date, okay? What color pen do I use? All these things, super important, okay? I'm gonna reference this all year long. This is not just a lesson we're doing for now for some unit on, you know, unit test next week and we're done. No, this is something we are using every day of this course, every day. So you have to understand the process. This is one of those things you'll go back and rewatch, okay? If you're struggling, please reach out to me individually. I will help you, all right? But our notebooks this year, unfortunately, because everything going on in the world, um, it's not gonna be a physical notebook. As you can see here, okay? Um, let me see if I can get it. Okay, all the page numbers, all the way up to 200. This is what we normally carry around not particularly this year. Instead, we're gonna be doing a digital version of the engineering notebook, all right? I look forward to working with you this year. Um, I hope this was clear and concise and you understood everything going on. And uh, go ahead and start labeling your slideshow. Talk to you soon. Take care.